Hello everybody, Jester here, and welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon, where we are going to be continuing with Jester's Court Incorporated. When we last left off, we released a series of okay games. They weren't exactly the best. Uh, let's just check. We Our most recent one, Veins and Arteries, a surgery simulation game, is possibly our best um, so far with an average score of 8. We had Grave Diggers, a horror strategy. Scales of the Dragon, a fantasy adventure. General Yu, military simulation. Silence will fall. A horror adventure. Rum and Plunder, history adventure. And our first ever Call of Duty. So, Veins and Arteries, definitely our best one so far. We've got 590,000 in the bank. Two months of G64 will be taken off the market. Let's take some contract work. We'll just take this one right now. Now, we're not going to make a new um, horror game just yet. We'll make a spy adventure game. So, let's start out. Uh, this is going to be for mature audiences. We have, oh, maybe, I can only actually get a werewolf. Um, werewolf adventure game. It's going to be for the... Uh, maybe we should get a license for the gameling, maybe. Am I just... Mm, uh, I think casual games are best for the gamelings. Uh, hmm, you know what, let's go for the Vena gear, why the hell not? And Omega V1. We're going to call this one... Lunar Transformation. Not Transformation, Transformation. Lunar Transformation, the werewolf adventure game for the Vena Gear on the Omega V1 engine for mature audiences. Or I can we'll make it for everybody because be safe. 2D graphics version one. Let's start this out. Okay, so werewolf adventure. So story and quests are going to be important. We're going to go for the linear story. Uh, engine maybe not too bad. Gameplay a little bit. Uh, that's pretty good for development stage one. Let's go on to stage two. Here we go. Uh, it's artificial intelligence, not very important. Level design, not very important either. A little bit more important than artificial intelligence, but most of the time it's going to go into dialogues. And world design, oh, way up there. Sound, not so much. Graphic, graphics, maybe not so much either. That's looking pretty good. Iron out these bugs and then we'll finish. Well, I got, um, no, I didn't. I thought I, thought I knocked the marketing uh, last episode. So, what do we got? No new records this time. New topic, a new combo. That's always good. No level level ups this time, although we're level 2 across the board. Release this game. What do we got? Werewolf Adventure game for the Vena Gear. What do we got? Come on, be good. That has its moments that does not look very good fun at stages it's better than expected when i first saw the numbers shows potential okay we're getting higher up can we stay up high focus more design serve this game okay i'm seeing a trend here right now of course we're just starting out we're getting a lot of fives and sixes a little bit of a seven and eight from time to time you know so we're doing not too bad no, if we if we're just starting out. So let's go ahead and generate the game report on the lunar transformation. I think the Vena gear might not have actually been the best uh, platform to do it on. I think maybe PC. What do we got? Okay combination. Topic audience match is good. And graphics seem to be quite important. Okay. Uh... So I think maybe Werewolf and Mature? Maybe be maybe be a great combination. Excuse me. <coughs> uh, Werewolf and Adventure is just an okay combination. Yeah. So uh, let's what can we research? Should we research mono sounds? Don't want to do marketing quite yet. Let's actually yeah, let's do mono sounds. And then oh yeah, I'm researching so can I do any contract work? Mm, 
Nice, successfully researched that. Lunar Transformation is still selling, though not nearly as much as previous games have sold. Um, yeah, sure, we'll go for this contract. Just a 9 and a 5. Come on. Easy. Oh. 266,000. Not too bad. Not bad. Very nice. Uh, what other contract work have we got? Uh, sure, we'll go for this one. Vena has announced that they will release a new gaming console in two months. The Vena Oasis comes with 16-bit graphics and sound which promises a new kind of gaming experience. Vena said at the announcement, The Oasis is a new start. It will be the genesis of a new generation of gaming consoles, and we believe it will do very well in the market. Some of the games already announced for the console suggest that it, it will appear to more mature audiences. Right, the Vein Oasis, mature audiences only. And it looks like we've got this contract in the bag. Very nice. And... Let's see, I can't research anything else, can I? Well, could research a new topic. What do we got? Game dev... Hmm... I think... Cyberpunk. Hmm. No, let's look for aliens. Let's research aliens. Maybe want to, an alien horror. No, damn it. I don't say an alien horror game, but they're both topics, aren't they? <laughs> damn it. That'd be awesome, though. Like, make me make alien isolation. Yeah. Uh, did I unlock a new topic for that? Transport? That's kind of boring. Um, let's see. Let's just develop a new game. Uh, topic. Let's make our spy game now. Let's make a spy. Hmm. We've got spy. Hmm. I kind of want to make a casual game for a the gameling actually. Uh. Geez, none of these are really casual, though, are they? <laughs> Horror, fantasy, military. <laughs> They're not casual. So let's go for... Oh yeah, I want to keep the spy. Spy action. Yeah, spy action. Uh, we'll go for the PC again. Well, actually, should we risk? Should we take a risk? Let's take a risk. We're buying the license. For the TES, we're going for the Omega One, Omega Version One, and the game shall be called Double O Eight. Jane Band. It's going to be a female spy. Jane Band, Double O Eight. Um. Oh, what was it? Um. Yeah, we'll make it for, just for everybody. Uh, 2D graphics, of course. And chosen quests, not very important. Uh, gameplay, pretty important, as is that. Jane Band. I'm pretty proud of that. <laughs> Today, the new game platform Vena Oasis by Vena has been released. Uh, right, uh, spy action, dialogue, maybe not so much, level design and artificial intelligence, maybe go up there. Um, let me put this one a little bit higher up. That looks pretty good. And world design, maybe not so much, and sound as well. We can put the graphics up. And let's go. It is ready to be shipped out. We'll finish off these bugs. <laughs> Excuse me. There we go. Let's go. Jane Jane Band. A new record for uh, design 
And quite a few level ups, nice. Better user experience, level editor and open world. We could make Elder Scrolls games. Ooh. First reviews, let's go. 008, Jane Band. Ooh, I saw a 10 in there. An 8, very good. This is a good start. Good start. Could have been You just had to ruin it, informed gamer. See, Game Hero, they know what's up. Come on. Let's move. It's still pretty good, informed gamer. How do you like being the odd one out? That was a pretty good game. That was a good game. So we'll generate a game report for 008 Jane Band. What do we got? Spy and action is a great combination. Sound seems to be quite important for this type of game. Duly noted. Uh, let's see, can I research? I can. I can research almost everything actually. <laughs> let's actually go for open world first. Then we'll maybe do the better user experience. Yeah. This is all going to go towards a new engine, I believe, by the way. Good, successfully researched open world. Let's research better user experience. Then we'll do some contract work to get some more money and get our research points up. 262,000 in sales, nice. There we go. Let's find some contract work. Uh, something simple to start us off. Um, sure, 12 and 4. Um, proposition. This is a very special offer. Our agents have recently managed to borrow some research information which might be of interest to you. If you are interested, then transfer £32,000 to the enclosed uplink location. We will contact you, Agent Blowfish. 32000 ah, That's actually a lot of money. Um, research information. Now, because I'm about to get enough research anyway, so I'm going to respectfully decline, good sir. Come on, there's one research point. There's the other one. We can research the better user. No, the um, level editor, yes. 14k to my account, thank you very much. Research the level editor, thank you very much. Ooh. Omega version 2 is on its way. <laughs> nice, okay, now let's find some more contract work. Um, a sprite sheet software, sure. Good so far, good so far. Carry on. There we go. Just what we wanted. 23,000 quid. And then, should we do this last one? Yeah, why not? Ten, nine, eight. Done, nice. And then let's let's. Uh, how much will it make to make a new ga game engine? Uh, Omega V two. Uh, so two D graphics, yes. Uh, gonna. How much will it cost to put everything in? I could afford that. I could actually afford. We're gonna do it. We're doing. We're going all out. We are going all in. Everything on 32 red. Everything on 32 red. And I get research points for this as well. Nice. So our next game is going to be on the Omega version 2. Today an Invento announced the much anticipated successor to the popular TES console. This is the greatest console we have ever built. It comes with a state-of-the-art 16-bit graphics and sound. 
It is simply super, and that's why we decided to call it the Super T-E-S. Fans around the world have been waiting for this moment, and it seems that they will not be disappointed. I remember, I remember my brother had their Super Nintendo. Yeah, I, I remember we used to play Donkey Kong on it. <laughs> ah, the folly of youth. How I miss thee. <laughs> we now have... Yes! Invest over 100k in a new game engine. Nice! Omega version 2. Right. Let's test the waters. Um, we are going to make... Um, you know, let's make a quote-unquote sequel to... Actually, I'm actually going to check first. Um, what was Silence Will Fall? That was a horror adventure. Um, grab your game. Silence Will Rise. We're going to go for horror, adventure, great combo. And this is going to be on the... No, not the TS. Maybe... No, we're not going to do it on the Vein Oasis, because that's a 100k license. But yeah, I see Adventure right here, and Mature Audiences. Game Engine, Omega V2. Let's go. We're going to have 2D Graphics V2, just like the Omega V2. We're going to go all out on this one. This is going to be our make or break game. Uh, stories and quests, pretty important for an ad for adventure. Uh, engine, maybe not too much. We'll go for that. We're gonna make or break us, people. Let's hope for the former. Uh, level editor, we don't really need that for... Well, actually, could do that. People could make their own levels. Go for this. Uh, dialogues, maybe a little bit more. Uh, maybe that up a little bit. I don't get a lot of bugs. Today the new game platform Super TES by Ninvento has been released. Graphics, that, okay, that can go there, that can maybe go there. Sound, going for model, model sound and open world. There we go. We had no bugs there. And I'm pretty sure this is... Oh, there's the bug. Pretty sure this is new records across the board. Finish it before we get any mo more new bugs. Let's go. New records. And quite a few level ups. Three, actually. Release it. Silence will rise. Simple cutscenes and better dialogues. Oh, boy, come on. Silence will rise. Come on. First, yes! I knew it! Our first 10, two, oh, come on. Can we get all 10s? Come on, get up. Oh, we've got a 9. Come on, bring us a 10. Oh my god! <laughs> this is amazing. That was a fantastic idea to go balls to the wall right here. Oh my god. We are generating a game report right away. Oh my god, that was insane. 100,000 units sold. Whoa! You make quite a name for yourself and I've saved up. Oh my god! We've reached a mil- We made- Oh wow. How much- How much We had about 300,000 when the game was released. That is 700. No. Seven. That's seven. That's a million. Oh my god. We're not going to move yet. No. Oh my god. That was insane. <laughs> this is our best game ever. Oh my god. They might become a fan favorite. Oh my god. That was amazing. Let's see. What do we got? Dialogues are very important. Artful intelligence, not very important. Okay. Oh my god, it's still selling. <laughs> this was 
the make or break moment of Jester's Court Incorporated. Oh wow, um <laughs> Wow, well I'm going The media is abuzz with the latest news from this year's entertainment conference. In a surprise announcement, Vonnie, a company known for general electronics, has presented a prototype console called the Play System. Ah, this I believe is when they were going to work with Sega, uh, when Sony were going to work with Sega to make the PlayStation. Then, or I was, was it not Sega that came to um, Sony with the idea for the PlayStation? Then Sony pulled out and said, "We'll take the PlayStation." I think that's how it worked. I'm not entirely sure though, don't quote me on that. Apparently, Vonnie has collaborated with Ninvento, creators of the beloved and successful TES and Super TES consoles, to develop what is basically a Super TES with a CD drive. This would be the world's first console using a CD drive. Journalists around the world are baffled as only one day after Vaughn and Nintendo jointly announced the play system at the entertainment conference, things have turned sour. Inventor announced today that they will cancel the project and instead seek to develop a new console with a different partner. Rumour has it that the distribution deal the companies had worked out was unfavourable to Inventor, handing over much of the control to Vaughn. This seems to be the end of the play system. And yet it was like a phoenix, burned to the ground and rose from the ashes. Wow. We are still making money from Silence Will Rise. It's still rank two in the world. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. Um. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end off this episode here. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. Um, if you have, then be sure to leave a like down below. Three million quid. Woo! Yeah, be sure to leave a like down below for Silence Will Rise. I swear to God, Silence Will Fall? It was an okay game. The silence fell. But when the silence rises, it rises. Woo! Anyway, without further ado, this is Jester, signing off. Sir.